What's up guys, it's the Minty Caliber here. When I think I'm done with the flashlight series, I keep finding more flashlights. Although, this is going to be the last test I do for a while because I'm not getting any, any more flashlights. If I find more, then yeah, I'll do tests, but as far as that goes. But I'm going to put these two head to head. So that is an old incandescent flashlight, and this is a newer style. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this. This is actually a newer style LED flashlight. Now both of them do have brand new batteries in them. Brand new double A's. So yeah. But uh, these right here are the ones I'm most interested in. Uh, in the flood option. So let's get started with this. Alright guys we are back. So before I get started I do want to say that I am comparing an LED to an incandescent. And... Out of these two, this is actually showing you which one's obviously better. Because, I mean, ancient technology right here. And, uh, somewhat new technology. Even though this is an older LED. Um, we've had this flashlight for a couple of years now. But, uh, start off with the little, uh, uh, <laughs> I'd say 1990s flashlight. Because that's what it reminds me of. Uh, really old. So... As you can see, not much brightness out there. You can't even see that. But if I come up close here and uh, just right up in this general area, uh, you can see a lot. But take a look at the, uh, what is this? Ah, Coleman. This one's also really nice because it does have a battery lock. So you can just actually leave the button on and you can twist this little head right here. So I'll show you here in a second. Let me put that down. Alright, so, as you can see, it's on. So, if I rotate this, it turns it off. So, I thought that was pretty cool. But, as you can see, much brighter. Has a uh, wider flood spread. Or, flood spotlight. Floodlight spread. Um, which, whichever you prefer. So, yeah. Not bad. You can see the mailbox, you can see the cane field, uh, you see the trees. But, uh, let's move on to the, uh, the main event, shall we? So, the Duracell 700 versus the Ozark Trail 6AA-700L, both 700 lumens. Uh, one is, uh, has a, uh, little, uh, focal, focus, uh, adjustment, so you can focus your, uh, light to a single point. The other one is fixed focus, so you pretty much get what comes in the box. So I, uh, I, uh, you know, honestly, I changed my mind. I am going to use a focus on this because I did realize that the, um, well, I'll show you. So starting off, we're going to use the, uh, Duracell. So you see, nice wide flood pattern. Uh, it's got a really good flood pattern, actually. Um, and now you focal it, keep focusing it. And you focus it to a single spotlight point, which you know is actually not that bad. Pretty bright. I like it. Um, if I had a way to get this flashlight, I would have definitely got this flashlight. But um, Walmart doesn't carry it. And the only way I could get it is if I had a membership to Costco. And I'm not about to pay for all that. When I could just spend 20 bucks at Walmart and get me a uh, 700 lumen flashlight. So, here's mine. Alright, so as you can see, it's got a nice little spotlight. Got a very, very nice uh, flood spread out. I don't know why I called it pattern, but it's a flood spread out. Or light spread. So it's really nice for flood. Um... Very bright, 700 lumens. And uh, the best part about this light, I have to say, in my honest opinion, is the fact that it does take six AA's. And to me, um, six AA's are a lot cheaper. They're easier to find. Um, and you can buy them in bulk. Usually, typically, when you buy uh, C-size batteries, you can only get them in like three packs and two packs and all that. 
but with double A's, you can get them in like a uh, 12 pack, a 24 pack of double A's. And you can just get a lot of them, and you can get them at dirt cheap prices. So, if I had to say who wins this, um, yes, the uh, Duracell is nicer. Yes, it does have that uh, that adjustable focus. But for convenience and uh, battery savings, I would have to put it towards the, um, the Ozark Trail. There's something in that cane field over there. It's just coyotes. Oh well. But um, again, like I said, convenience, uh, saving on batteries... Definitely goes to the Ozark Trail. And uh, if you used to buy the uh, Duracell out of Costco, like from another store, it's going to cost you around $30. So, I mean, do you really need a uh, adjustable focus for an everyday flashlight? No, not really. Uh, for my TAC flashlights, my tactical flashlights, um, yes, I do like... Uh, focus adjustment just because it's a lot better and there's a wild bit bit so we'll see how well this flashlight works oh, oh he's being right there he is peeing right there guys um already then but um anyways guys uh this is the minted caliber signing out